Let's talk about some types of chemical bonds. Elements of the periodic table can bind to one another to form molecules, either by donating, accepting, or sharing electrons between one another. So this actually helps the individual elements to become more stable when they share these electrons or donate them to each other. There are a few different types of bonds, and we'll discuss a couple of those in this lesson. First, let's talk about what determines the type of bond that occurs between two elements. All elements have inherent properties, but one important one that you should keep in mind is electronegativity. Electronegativity can be thought of as how much an element likes to hold on to its electrons, either the electrons that it already has around its nucleus or electrons from other um, elements that it might interact with to form bonds. So um, the values for electronegativity can be found in the periodic table. As an example, here are a few important ones. When two elements then interact with one another and combine to form a molecule, whether one atom actually steals an electron from the other, or whether that electron is shared equally between those two atoms, or almost equally, depends on the electronegativity of each of the elements. So in that case, the molecule that has the highest electronegativity will steal or um, take a greater share of the electrons for itself. Now, covalent bonds are the first type of bonds that we'll discuss. And in this case, this is when electrons are actually shared between two atoms or two elements of the periodic table because they have similar electronegativities. So they're never exactly the same, but they can be pretty similar so that um, the, the electrons are actually sh just shared between the two. One great example of this is a very common molecule, very abundant in our bodies, which you know as water. And this is formed by the covalent bonding of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. So you can see that as an example down here. So these types of bonds are more common and stronger than another bond type that we'll discuss in a bit uh, called ionic bonds. So just so you have an idea, the electronegativity of hydrogen is about 2.2. And if, we, if you look up here at the periodic table, you will see that the electronegativity of oxygen is about 3.44. So these electronegativities are considered close enough so that when hydrogen and oxygen interact, uh, the electrons that used to belong to each individual atom uh, now are shared equally or almost equally between each other. I say almost equally because since the electronegativity of oxygen is a little bit higher than that of hydrogen, then the oxygen will actually pull those electrons a little bit closer to itself than hydrogen actually has to its nucleus. But essentially this is a sharing between the two or a covalent bond. The next type of bonds is um, ionic bonding. And so this occurs when the electronegativities between two atoms or two elements of the periodic table are two are so great that one element actually will gain an electron by stealing it from the other and the other element loses that electron to the other element. So in this case, because there's full gain or losing of electrons, each of these atoms each of these elements will actually become an ion, which means that they are charged. So a great example of this that you encounter every day without even knowing is table salt or sodium chloride. Um, sodium chloride is NaCl, so we have sodium and chloride here, and it results from the ionic bonding of these two elements. So chloride is much, or chlorine is much more electronegative than sodium, and so it steals one of its, its, its electrons. So when it does so, um, it will have an overall negative charge, as you can see here, and because sodium lost an electron, it'll have an overall positive charge now, and so these are two ions. Since electrons are normally negatively charged, the gain of an electron by chlorine will make it become negatively charged. And because sodium lost one, then it'll become positively charged. Hey guys, my name is Jess, the head of education here at WISE. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you want to see the complete course, please check out the link in the description. You can also go to one of our playlists to keep learning for free. If you want us to cover a specific course or a specific topic, please leave us a comment below. We post new videos every week, 
So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the new stuff.